Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fun and easy video, I'm gonna show you how to make some amazing cookies. These are super popular in France. They are a combination of a butter cookie with almond. I make them really thin and they are amazing. And I promise you, you're gonna try these out and you're gonna fall in love with them. For our recipe today, we're gonna need 150 grams of all-purpose flour, 50 grams of ground almond powder, 100 grams of salted butter, one gram of ground cinnamon, one large egg, and 75 grams of granulated white sugar. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. To start off our recipe, I have placed my salted butter into a large bowl, and very important, this butter must be very, very soft. So before you make your recipe, make sure you measure out your butter, bring it out, let it sit on the counter so it gets really soft. And then I'm gonna bring in my mixer. And as soon as I turn on my mixer, you can see how soft this butter is. That's good. And then my granulated sugar. Let's just get all of that in there. And now I wanna cream that sugar with the butter. So you can increase your mixer. And then we're gonna add in our egg. And this egg will help with the creaming process. It's gonna add a little bit more moisture and it's gonna bring all of this together. So always speed number one when you start off adding new ingredients. And then increase your mixer. And then just mix until nicely smooth. So my mixer is on high speed right now. You can see how nice that is. It's getting really fluffy, and you can also see the color has lightened right up. So let's just clean off our beaters, that's good. And then we're gonna sift our almond powder. I'll get my cinnamon in. and then all of our flour. And then I'm just gonna push all of this through. Breaking it through the sieve will get all the little pieces a little bit smaller. So just take the back of your hand or the front of your hand and just push. Just break all of that down. We want all of that goodness in there. The little pieces like that will add a nice little bit of crunch. These are amazing cookies and that addition of cinnamon is really nice. These cookies can be eaten any time of the year. Amazing cookies, that's all I can say. So I try to get through all of that. Once no more will go through, then I can just dump that in. Let me grab my mixer. Speed number one. I do not want to over mix. And if you want to have recipes that turn out with perfection every time, it really is a good thing to invest in a little scale. A little scale that is accurate to one gram. Very, very good. They're very inexpensive. And you will have it for years. And it's just amazing in the kitchen. It will change your baking. Okay, that's good. I just want to go up on the sides. And that's it for this recipe. Now I'm just going to increase my mixer. Get all of that off. And that's perfect. At this point, I'm just gonna grab a little bench scraper. 
and just bring all this down and we want to let this chill because by mixing we have agitated the protein that is in the flour and this causes the glutens to start forming in the dough so if you roll this out right now your cookies would shrink a little bit more than they should so let's just get this into some plastic wrap so just get all of your dough up right into the middle of a piece of plastic get all of your dough that's good and just get that on camera flip your plastic wrap over and then push you can see all the nice little specks in there of the cinnamon and we're gonna get a little bit a tiny bit of extra crunch because of the little pieces of almond that were left over and that is a nice little bonus so whenever you are putting a dough into plastic never put it into your fridge in a ball format always push it out so that it's a disc because later on it's much easier to roll that out let's just check that that looks good and that's thin enough and then I just bring it over so we don't get any air and you can now leave this for about an hour in your fridge and then bring it back out and roll it out or you can leave it for a day it doesn't really matter but leave it in your fridge to rest for a good hour and that's what I'll do now so here we are again I let my dough chill down and relax in the fridge for about two hours and now I brought it out about 10 minutes ago and I can already feel that it's starting to become to become pliable so we're just going to open it up you want to work with this when it's more on the chilly side and to make this really easy I'm just going to start with little pieces of it I'm going to get that down move this to the side I'm going to do the entire batch but for the video I'm only going to do a few of the cookies so we'll get that on there I'm just going to get a little bit on here and then we'll roll it out and if you don't want to use a little bit of flour you can take your dough and roll it between two pieces of plastic I have a nice little cookie cutter here this is made by Silico Mart and it just happens to be a traditional French cookie cutter type that goes really well with this cookie so I'm just gonna cut some of these out just get a little bit of flour on here get a little spatula now I do find this works nicely as well if you cut your shapes out on some parchment paper and then you just chill the dough in your fridge for about 10 minutes and then you can just gently peel away the excess dough but you can see how nice that is look at this and you know what's great about this recipe the edges retain their shape in the oven while they bake so I'm starting to build my little tray of cookies here I'll just want to show you what these are like and at this moment right now I do have my oven set preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit so the second tray ready to go into the oven absolutely no chilling required you just put these right into the oven I baked my first batch 350 degrees Fahrenheit for exactly 10 minutes so I'm gonna bake these off and then I'll come back and I'm gonna show you all of them I wasn't gonna film this portion because I do want to keep my videos a little bit shorter I just wanted to show you what they look like before you remove them off your tray these look amazing and they smell really good and if you look really closely you can see that they held their shape really nicely no chilling I did not put these into the fridge so you cut them out and right into the oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit exactly 10 minutes I time everything there we go so I'm just gonna let all of these cool down 
and then we will crack into one and I'll show you what they look like or the little snap that they give you and just before I forget I have 22 cookies here I have a little bit of dough left over I probably could have made probably another four cookies out of that so at this size probably around 26 good size cookies now that my cookies have completely cooled I've zoomed in just to show you these a little closer up hopefully you can see how nice these are and I'll just spread some out here so you can see them and you can hear they're nice and crispy look at this and I like them like this just a little bit of browning on the edges and I'll flip one over and you can see how thin these are very very thin hopefully you can see that so let's just snap into one of these and the I can smell that cinnamon in there amazing listen did you hear that you want to store these in an airtight container to keep them nice and crisp listen amazing you're gonna try these one time you will fall in love I guarantee it I'm gonna go for a little bite mmm beyond amazing I can't tell you how good these are mmm -mm. yum so I'm just gonna dip a few of these into some chocolate I have some dark chocolate here this is tempered I'm just gonna turn on my little machine and just spin it around a little bit just for a couple of seconds so this is a little this is a little chocolate tempering machine and this is made by ChocoVision this is the Rev 2B model and I love this little machine I'm gonna grab a cookie let's just go in at an angle here let's do, do something a little different I think the triangle will look nice so I'm just gonna let this drip off I'll lift it up so you can see this a little bit better just give it a little bit of a shake tilt it backwards and then right onto our little silicone mat so I'll do another one this is not necessary these cookies are amazing without the chocolate but if you want to have a little bit you know more wow factor to your cookie then you can do that and also you can sprinkle a little bit of salt on there a little bit of sea salt would be nice just before they set up this chocolate is tempered so it'll take about four to five minutes and then we'll already start seeing it set up so I'll do one more well, maybe two more so I'm just gonna go right in dip 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 and pull it out a little bit of a shake if you want to cover the whole cookie that's fun as well and there we go right there oh let's do one more because I could hear you saying do one more do one more okay let's do one more so right in this little machine here is a chocolate tempering machine and it does a total of 1.5 pounds of chocolate an amazing little machine you can check them out at ChocoVision just Google ChocoVision I'll put some information about this little machine down in the description box below this video if you want to see it I ha actually have an unboxing a full unboxing and showing you how this machine works really amazing if you do like playing around with chocolate this little machine can really change your life it makes things so much easier anyway there we go looks good so I'll let those set up I've got my other cookies here I'm gonna set them all up and I'll snap a few little product shots and I'll insert those throughout the video just to show you so that's it thanks for watching if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you wish and if you're on Facebook you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro that's it for today and I'll catch you on the next one